Hey guys, it's Nathan. Welcome back to day 191 of One Year With Me as I crumple some stuff around my feet. So, I have to say, today was probably the last extremely tiring day I'm going to have for a very long time. That meaning, um, I took my first section of my biology final today, uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I have to say, it was not as hard as I expected, um, because I only really had time to look at like certain subjects. So I only spent time on like what I thought was really important. So in this case, it was codons and like how that whole system works. And that ended up being like 90% of the questions. So I just kind of did good, I think. Uh, I mean, I knew it. Like I knew that was the one thing that I really understood was like how the whole process works and like how codons are made and what's the reverse of them and like stuff like that. Anyone who doesn't know bio has no clue what I just said. But... <laughs> But uh, I think I did okay. I can actually probably get on mastering and check. I'm just really nervous and don't really want to do so. Um, I did find out that he is going to drop our lowest test grade. So for me, that means getting rid of like a 68, which is like the lowest grade I've ever gotten on a test. So that's good. Um, but yeah, right after bio, I went to uh, the newsroom, wrote out my reviews for uh, film and social history, got those all turned in. Um, then went to that class, just went to work, and then that's it. Actually got to come home and relax tonight, um, play some uh, NBA 2K16 for the first time in a while, because I could um, study for the lab practical, but like I, I already know most of what's gonna be on it, and I'm not really that scared for it, because the lab practical is more doing than knowing what you're doing, you know what I mean? Like You don't really necessarily have to know what you're doing, you just have to know how to do it. So it's, relatively self-explanatory and I know some of the smaller questions that he's gonna ask and then obviously I'll show up a few minutes early tomorrow and like talk to people and just kind of bounce some things off to make sure I know what's going on um, but yeah I'm not too worried about it and then after that I am done I don't have to go to any of my other classes tomorrow I'm off work too so I can just come home and chill out for a while It'll be nice. I'm not gonna lie. I, I like to uh, get actually to be able to play some NBA 2k16 tonight I actually ended up getting a, uh, a box of um, 10 uh, my team packs and in like the second pack I pulled an amethyst uh, Bob Pettit from 1959 who would, honestly I think he was just added like last week so there were only two of them on the market so I can sell mine right now for like 900,000 my team points which is insane like that's enough to buy Steph Curry in replacement which I'm totally gonna do because Steph Curry like that's going to help my team leaps and bounds from where it is right now. I have Steph Curry backed up by Steve Nash, backed up by Westbrook. Oh my god. It's great. So that was just totally unexpected too because like I, I looked through it so fast and I saw the purple but my mind didn't like register until I saw it and I was just like... <laughs> that's, the, that's the reaction that I have is just... Uh, so I promise it looks exactly like that. But anyway, I think I'm going to move on to today's advent calendar entry, and uh, this is going to be another one of my LEGO Dimensions figures, and it's one that I picked up very, very recently, and it is Wonder Woman! So I think the Wonder Woman figure looks actually really nice, you know, being a DC figure, if it would focus here. You going to focus on Wonder Woman there, camera? There you go. So I think the Wonder Woman figure looks really cool. I love how they included the Lasso of Truth. You know, the detail's really nice, like the painting on the legs is, is nice. It, shows a lot of detail it isn't uh two colored plastic as you see on the back it's just all red it's just painted on the sides but i think this is a decent combination of like the old school wonder woman look and like the new wonder woman look um i like the hair piece a lot and then like i said i like the lasso so i think i just think wonder woman's a really cool character i can't wait to see uh how they portray her and like how gal gadot does in uh batman versus superman it's gonna be gonna be sick but I actually picked this up because this figure was free, um, as I think I showed you guys, it also comes with Wonder Woman's Invisible Jet, which isn't entirely invisible, but it's all made out of clear bricks, which is pretty cool, but um, when Target had their sale to buy two, get one free on video game stuff, this was my free figure of choice, and I just figured, hey, Wonder Woman, I don't have her yet, she's pretty cool, and uh, that unlocked the DC world for me, so that's pretty neat, but I, I just really like Wonder Woman as a figure, I think she looks really good, I think the base, oh, I didn't show you guys the base, the cool thing about the Lego Dimensions figures is they, is they oh, as I drop it. <laughs> they each have that individual base um, that like looks with their figure, so this is Wonder Woman's little base piece. It has the W on there and the little stars and stuff. And then obviously there's a little toy tag on the back, but I think the whole thing just looks good. Cool figure. I like it a lot. And I like how the whole Wonder Woman thing is just 
it's not like a hair piece and then a tiara it's all just one hair piece and she has a super angry alternate face where she can be like really mad like er i'm gonna kill you because i'm wonder woman uh this is dumb anyway i think that's gonna be it for the entry today and i think that's gonna be it for the video too so thank you guys very much for watching please subscribe to follow the journey and check me out on facebook if you want to keep up and like always i will see you guys tomorrow